Coming off 300 hurdles here at Mount Sac Relays, how are you feeling? Um, a lot better. Starting off the day was rough, so today this is a good race. This morning you had food poisoning. You know, did you did you think you were gonna race today, or did you think what, what, what was this morning like? Um, after the hundreds, I was like, oh, this is gonna be a rough day. But I came back for this race, kind of emptied my mind of what had happened earlier on, and I came out ready to fight. So it turned out okay. What was the recovery like in between the one and right now? It was just clearing your mind, thinking about things? Yeah, definitely. Especially being a quick turnaround, you really had to work on forgetting it right away and just really focusing on this is the next race I'm running. Coming in, you know, you, you still clear a bunch of hurdles. What, what was your goal coming into today? Um, today was definitely get down low 43s because Arcadia 42, that was, that was amazing. But obviously, with getting back to normal training, you're going to go down again, but hopefully, I'll get back. Back there for state. You said back to normal training. Did you have a did you have a peak and you're leveling off now heading in towards postseason? Yeah, going into Arcadia, we did a small taper and now we're getting back into regular training and then begin to slowly taper off for state. Rest of postseason, what's your time goals? Uh, definitely I wanna go low 42, maybe knocking on 41's door in 300s and then hundreds. Hopefully 13, but it's going to be a stretch. <laughs> yeah, besides not eating Chipotle the night before, is there anything you can uh, change heading into postseason mentally, physically? Definitely. Um, physically, just eating right, sleeping a lot, getting a lot of water, staying hydrated.